This is the real Tom Rose, and we are um, we're being asked to convert an expression here, which is in terms of t, into an expression in terms of x. Right? It says, what is the expression for yt in terms of x? So you can already get rid of answer choices that just have t's in them. I'm not sure why those are even proposed as answer choices, because they don't meet the constraints. Um, now at this point, how do we convert t's into x's? Well, we are given an equation that relates t and x. We have to solve it for t, of course. So if x is t plus 2, you can say t equals x minus 2. So everywhere that we have a t, we can substitute x minus 2. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so y of t um, is equal to is equal to t squared, which is x minus 2 squared plus 3 over, so let's say t cubed, x minus 2 cubed minus 4. And the answer choice, so at this point, this just becomes a grinded out type of problem. There's a ton of work that has to be done here with we need to foil all these things out, combine like terms, and we're going to get the answer. Um, so let's just begin that work. And while I'm doing this, because it's so much work, I'm always going to be um, constantly looking for some kind of shortcut. And I think I might see one. Notice that in the numerator, the units digit, the, so just the numerical term with no x in it, is different in each of those cases. So you could try to cherry pick this by saying, well, what will that be? Well, um, and this is how I would solve it on the actual SAT. I wouldn't waste the time solving all of this stuff. I would just say um, the numerical component will be this negative 2 squared. So negative 2 squared will be 4. 4 plus 3 is 7. So the answer here, I'm, I'm guessing, but I'm pro pretty sure is going to be that one. So on the ACT, I would have already picked this and moved on. But I'm just going to go ahead and write it all out so that we can see what happens, and we'll academically see whether uh, we made a good guess or a bad guess. So let's see. Let's FOIL out x minus 2 times x minus 2 plus 3. So this is the numerator. That will equal um, x squared. So we're going to do first times first, outside times outside, inside times inside, and last times last. So x squared minus 2x minus 2x plus 4 plus 3, um, which equals x squared minus 4x plus 7, which is consistent with what we've already picked. So that's good. Let's do the denominator. That's going to be x minus 2 times x minus 2 times x minus 2 minus 4. So there's going to be a bunch more steps in this. Um, the denominator is going to be, let's just do the, I'm going to FOIL the first one, which we actually already know the answer to, which is x squared minus 4x plus 4. I have that times, that times x minus 2 minus 4. So this is going to equal, um, so what I'm going to do is the first one of these times all three, x times this times this times this, and then I'm going to do two times the first, the second, and the third. So I'm going to end up with six terms. So you should have, I'll have to write a little efficiently, so you'll have x cubed minus 4x squared plus 4x um, minus 2x squared plus 8x. I'm going to have to wrap the line. Plus 8x minus 8 minus 4. So collecting like terms, and I'm going to do that in a different color. We've got the x squared term to collect. You've got the x term to collect. And you have the, uh, you've got the numerical terms to collect. What that equals is x cubed minus 6x squared plus 12x minus 12, which is in fact the denominator um, on our answer. So the numerator and denominator both match. We did pick the correct one. 